so uh, go, just going back to that first championship, of course, we all know that Justin Brownlee was not the original pick for an import for Baranga Ginebra. Paul Harris actually played a game for you and broke, broke his hand in the first game. But at, at what can you, can you remember at what point of uh, the tournament, that conference, did you figure out that Justin Brownlee was this one-of-a-kind import that would not only win a championship but be, you know, be a legend in the PBA? The funny, funny story is his first practice, <laughs> his first practice, we were like, oh, God, we're in trouble. <laughs> like we were like this dude is trash <laughs> like you could tell he was skilled like you could tell he could shoot the ball a little bit could move but he just in the way he is in practice there's a different switch he hits when the when the lights turn on and those and he's playing in front of those fans there is a different switch he hits so i remember in practice we were like oh man we're in trouble he was like cramping up in practice. You know, obviously we all know he has cramping problems. So he was cramping up in practice, um, you know, not making it through whole practices. And I remember, I think it was Alaska. We played his first game and me, me and Joe were on the bench and we were like, he started doing stuff. He just turned it up. We were like, Oh, he's different. He's a little different when the lights come on. So, and he just got better and better. And to be honest with you, even after his first time out here, he came back. He was even better. Like, he just yeah. kind of – he I, it might have just clicked in his head. It was like, man, I could really do something out here. And he put the work in. Justin is like – he is an incredible hard worker. I was just telling Simon we were watching the last dance. And this is – I don't know if this will be taken the wrong way or what, but watching the last dance and, and seeing Jordan, Kobe, and all that, to me, Justin is them. He's Jordan. He's Kobe. Like, and, and the reason why is because he idolizes Kobe. You know, Kobe's his favorite player. So, like, the way he walks, the way he works, the way he talks, like, all that, it's almost like it's Jordan, Kobe, and then Justin. Like, it's like he, he is in that type of mold, which is crazy to say because, obviously, those are, those are greats. But, like, I really feel that way about Justin. And shout out to Justin, man. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, brother. I love hey. you. Happy birthday. And we've heard that from a number of people already, Saul. I don't, I don't think this is a mock or a slight, but Justin Brownlee has been described as the Jordan or Kobe of Philippine basketball. If you put it on this setting, JB or Justin Brownlee just seems to be perfect to dominate this stage. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I agree with that 100%. Closest thing to Jordan or Kobe that we've ever seen in the PBA, at least in, in, in this era. Uh, but off the court, Brownlee, Justin Brownlee has, you know, this personality that when, when, when he puts on a jersey, he'll kill you. He is a killer. But, but out of it, I mean, can you describe how he is as a person? <laughs> um, I mean, me and Justin spent a lot of time off the court uh, together. So, you know, I see him in, in, in that element of being off the court. And he's probably, he's one of the most caring guys for his fans and the people. Like he cares about people, genuinely cares about people. And it's not, it's not a facade. It's not something he does for, uh, to get noticed or, you know, recognition or anything. He really does it because he cares about people. Um, not, not even just people that can't help themselves, but, you know, even his brothers, you know, if we need something, he, he's there for us. Um, that's just the type of person he is. He's super quiet to himself. Um, he likes to just chill and, 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 and hang out. He's not someone that likes to go, you know, and do a bunch of stuff. Although we have gone to like Brock Eye and get, got on the jet skis and done stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, he's, he's the way that he is on the court, just coming out to kill you. You could kind of see his personality in that because he doesn't, he doesn't talk shit. He doesn't, say anything sorry can i i'm not sure if i can say that's that okay that's cool he doesn't talk <laughs> mess he just to himself everyone sees that you know what i'm saying that he's very even kill on the court and that's kind of how he is off the court and there have been legendary instances of him just hanging out in different barangays with the masses with the people with the actual people who really support philippine basketball and the pba have you done anything like that yeah we we actually have done that uh together a couple times we've there's been times where we'll just 
we were we were going i think we might have been coming from like uh eating or something having a meal and we were going through like this these back roads uh that ways was take you know ways would take you through some back roads sometimes so we we're going through these back roads and there was just this little court um just in the middle like next to a gas station and they were like they had like lights on and they were like playing a full game and justin was like let's just go run with them and we got out we got out the court i mean we got out the car and we got on the court and we just started playing with them man and and, and they were like so happy like extremely happy but it's crazy that you know what I'm saying just someone of justin stature is just like hey man let's go play with them like he's dude even out. you even you, I'd be running five on five on the street and you roll up, Justin Brownlee rolls up. That's a special moment. That's a oh, lifelong yeah, memory definitely, right definitely there, man. special, man. Definitely. <laughs> you got Saul walking up to you. Hey, let me get that ball. <laughs> That's different, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a cool moment for sure.